Hey, so to set this up, this is a technique I use in Reaper a lot, probably more than I should. Uh, but I'm, I'm using uh, kind of prosumer level equipment. I don't have these great noise isolating shotgun microphones to get the cleanest possible signal. So I admittedly rely on boosting a little more than I should right now. And that can introduce noise into the signal. Um, and this, this uh, Foley Friday Week 1 session is a great example of that. Um, there's a couple things that made this worse than it should be. I was borrowing an H4N, that Zoom H4N recorder. And I've worked with it a few times, but I didn't exactly know how to set it up, and I was in a hurry. So, long story short, I thought the, the uh, preamp gain for these two channels was linked. Uh, but it is not. So I did not have to, it did not have to be this bad, but it is. So that's what I'm working with. So this top waveform is a contact microphone, and it had plenty of gain. And down here is the Audix i5, and I did not get nearly enough gain for that. Um, so I had to rely a lot on boosting. So we're going to look at uh, that now, this Audix i5 mic, which is down here. By the way, if you don't know how to split out a mono track in Reaper, just uh, right click, item settings, take channel mode, and uh, get whichever one you want. Okay, But we're, we're done with this for now. So we'll mute that, bring this guy in. Um, now, uh, to preface this, uh, I, do, I do what I can to reduce noise in a recorded track. Um, first of all, this is recorded in 24-bit, by the way, so when I do boost, it's going to be a lot cleaner than if I was recording in 16-bit, because there's more data for, the, for it to work with, if that makes sense. Um, but I'm not really focusing on uh, bit depth discussions right now. But uh, I, I will, uh, to reduce noise, I'll turn off fluorescent lights, I turn off my air conditioner, I kind of do what I can, you know, to reduce the noise level. But, as we'll see here, sometimes it's unavoidable. So this is my i5 recording. Uh, waveform, very anemic, very puny. Uh, let's look at my FX. I did, I, I did some standard stuff, cut out the bottom so there's no rumble. Uh, then look at this. I, I really smushed this uh, with uh, my compressor here. I did a lot of pre-gain. I really clamped down. This is not how I, I process it in the first place. I'm kind of exaggerating here so I can make my point. And then I uh, used a Pro L, a limiter. I pushed into it 6 dB and really clamped down again. So now I'm getting a pretty solid output from this. But here, let's go, let's go somewhere like here. So you can see it's a pretty solid output. I'm getting some, some reasonably good signal now. But you'll notice all this space in between, I have a lot of noise. Listen to that again. Hopefully you can hear that after the YouTube conversion. Uh, so I want to keep all this sound, but get rid of that noise. Kind of cancel it out of the background. So what you do in Reaper is you, you come, you find a nice quiet spot with just your background noise, okay? So I know at the beginning here, I've got uh, before I start talking, I've got just some, some pure background noise. Cool. Okay, so we are going to uh, drag a selection and loop it and just listen for noise. Cool. 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 Okay, cool. Cool. now you can hear like uh, I'm, I start talking there, so that's a problem. So let's trim it down. All right, that's, that sounds just like new noise to me, okay? There's no talking, no clicking, no anything in the background that'll mess, mess up the algorithm we're about to work with. So open up your FX, and we're going to add something from Kakos, uh, the people who make Reaper. We're going to go to this Rayafer, Reafer, however you want to call it, this plugin here. And we're going to click OK. Now, we, we don't want this normal EQ mode. We want to go to Subtract. And now we're going to play. And you can see that it's already kind of canceled out the sound, but we, we want to make that permanent. So we're going to click Automatically Build Noise Profile. You'll see this red line come in. And then unclick. And let's unloop now. Click, click. OK. So let's go back. Let's see, we were at uh, 155 before. Let's go back to what we listened to before. So now when I play, See, I've got the same sounds, 
but now this, this quiet part in between, that sound, the noise is going to be reduced. So if you back yourself into a corner, you have to boost a lot more than you want to. This is a great tool to get rid of, uh, get rid of no noisy elements. All right, I hope that helps you out. Uh, like and subscribe if you're interested in what I'm talking about. Let me know if there's anything you're interested in seeing as a quick tip, and I will see you later.